In tonight's health center, the CDC is looking into whether there could be a link between the COVID vaccination and a rare inflammation of the heart in young people. The agency says a very small number of teens and young adults developed myocarditis, and it's looking into whether it was connected to the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. I'm joined now by Jake Klinahan. He's the director of the Pediatric Heart Transplant Unit at Oshner Hospital for Children in New Orleans. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so can you just start by explaining how serious myocarditis is and how common it is and whether parents of young adults should be worrying about this? So myocarditis is, is a spectrum and it can mean a few unhappy or inflamed cells of the heart, but it also can mean that cells in the heart are affecting the electrical system of the heart, affecting heart function. Um, and, and normally it affects about two people out of every 100,000 patient years. Okay, so we found we did a little research on it. Here's what we know. The cases the CDC is looking at were predominantly in young adolescents and young adults, more often in males than females, usually following the second dose and typically occurring within four days after the vaccination. The CDC says the number of cases is so small, it just might be a coincidence. And then in April, the CDC, in response to a similar investigation in Israel, said it did not see a link. Has that changed? Or are we still learning about all of this? Uh, this has not changed. And this particular age group is the age group that has the highest incidence of myocarditis. So actually, the amount of myocarditis that they're seeing um, with patients who have gotten COVID vaccinations is lower than we would expect in the general population. Usually in teenagers, it predominantly affects males. So I, I don't think we can say for now that there is a uh, direct link between the COVID vaccine and, and myocarditis, but it's something that I think that the CDC should further investigate. As if this condition is treated, does it clear up completely on its own and return to normal or? Um, it depends on the cause of myocarditis. There are some causes of myocarditis that can be treated um, and the heart returns to normal. Um, there are also other causes where there's been uh, permanent damage to the heart um, and patients go on uh, at worst needing a heart transplant. So the CDC has posted guidance for doctors like you and clinicians to be on the alert for the condition. What are the, some of the symptoms our viewers should pay attention to, whether or not it has to do with the vaccine? Yeah, for myocarditis, um, symptoms are going to be chest pain. They may be palpitations where they feel that their heart rhythm is abnormal, shortness of breath, and then specifically in children, um, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, um, and I'm to really eat what they would usually eat. So the bottom line, uh, based on our discussion right now, is that it doesn't sound like it's a big enough concern that people should potentially put off getting the vaccination, right? Because they can potentially get this inflammation from the virus itself, right? Yeah, I've certainly treated uh, many children who have had myocarditis from the COVID-19 virus. And I've treated zero children who have gotten myocarditis from the vaccine. So the benefit greatly outweighs the risk of getting the vaccine. We don't know um, that this is linked at all. And I would uh, recommend that parents continue vaccinating their children. I'm a parent myself, and I'm planning on vaccinating my children. All right, doctor, thank you very much for your insight tonight. Appreciate having you here on Prime. Thank you.